How do we find the derivative of e to the ax for any real number a? Well, if a is 0, then e to the ax is equal to e to the 0x, which is just e to the 0, which is 1. And the derivative of that would be 0. So let's ignore that case. Let's consider e to the ax, where a is a non-zero real number. Let's find the derivative. This is a composite function, so we'll need to use the chain rule, which tells us the derivative of a composite function, f of g of x, is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. If we can accurately identify the outside and inside function, the f and the g, we'll be able to apply the chain rule. In our case, the outside function, which we'll call f of x, is just e to a power. It's e to the x. That power, that inside function, which we will call g of x, is just the linear function a times x, where again, a is some non-zero real number. Now it's straightforward to apply the chain rule. The chain rule tells us the derivative will be f prime of g of x. The derivative of the outside function, f prime, is e to the x, because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. But remember, we don't want the inside part to be x, we want it to be g of x. So instead of just putting x up here, we're going to put g of x, which is a times x. That's the inside function. Then we just multiply by the derivative of the inside function. That's g prime. The derivative of a times x, that's like the derivative of 3x or the derivative of 5x. It's just a. It's just that real number coefficient. So the derivative of e to the ax for any non-zero real number a is simply a times e to the ax. Like we said, if a is zero, then the derivative is zero, and this formula still works, although that is a slightly odd case. This derivative is really simple. You definitely don't have to memorize it, but you can see the formula works. The derivative of e to the 3x, for example, is just 3e to the 3x. The derivative of e to the square root of 2x is just square root of 2 multiplied by e to the root 2x. That's how you take the derivative of e to the power of a real number times x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus One exercises and Calculus One course playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.